So, my colleagues, people, it's been a while, it's been a lovely moment, it's been a lovely day. Thank you once again for always supporting this platform. I really do appreciate if it's not the first time you're coming across us or you're hearing our voice for the first time. We still remain your one and only progress news, bringing it to you live and direct. Remember, in this platform, we react to our videos and your opinion is signing on them. It has been a long while. I haven't come to talk with us like this. Okay, oh, you know, I have missed you a lot. So, yes, so I said, no, let me come in today so that we can have one on one talk. Okay, so that we can report together in the comment section. You know that Mazuna Nikano will be appearing in court tomorrow. That is the 8th of April 2022. <laughs> we can't just wait. And we are believing God for grace. We are believing God for favor. We are believing God for victory. So, my qualistic people, without no wasting our time, let me just go deep into the news briefly. The first one that we have here is. <laughs> If you see what happened to a uh, um, former Nigeria president, good luck, Ebere Jonathan. <laughs> you are just going to watch a little clip about it. God saved his life. And the second one is what happened in River State. How a young guy got born, in fact, a young baby of two years old. Just got born just like that. A lot of things are going on right now in Nigeria. And... The third one is, can you believe that Soludo finally picked some members, 15 persons, <laughs> to fight or to talk with those people that are making agitation about how the progress of Anabra. <laughs> and the fifth one is, can you imagine? <laughs> they don't know, they said it's on no group. Wow. They just designed Osu in Imo State, they designed the entrance with Biafra flag, that is the color of Biafra flag. I'm going to display it for you to see, and you are going to watch a short clip of it. So, my colleagues, people, now sit back, watch the video, and I'll be right back. So, my colleagues, people, the first one that I have here is Nigeria uh, former president, good luck, Ebebe Jonathan. Though his two security men were down in the process, it's a fighter accident and is very, very dangerous. In fact, I know that by now, wherever the former president of Nigeria is, um, uh, Ebere Jonathan, he will be in total shock of what happened to him. So you are just going to watch the little clip. Or the way I am talking, it's going to be displayed as you can see. This is just all the pictures. This is how God delivered him. <laughs> God delivered him the 6th of April 2022 in Abuja. <laughs> Macroalistic people, uh, a lot of things have been going on, and a lot of people have been saying some kind of things. What could have led to the incident? What happened? Where he was going to betting all. We just thank God that finally he is still alive. Just get a glance of some of the pictures as I'm talking to you. You will be seeing there displaying all the clip of the video. But nevertheless, really thank God for everything. All right, my colleagues, people, let me not waste much of your time. Let us dive into the second update. Yes, so, so the second one is about what happened to two-year-old baby in River State. We are not going to bring in the video, but we are just going to listen to some people in the community what they got to say or what they have to say about what really happened to this baby. All right, my colleagues, people, it has got it burnt. A lot of things have been going on in Nigeria and a lot of people are just behaving as if nothing is going on. But right now, I just want to leave you to watch the video and I'll be right back. Nothing, nothing. You know, 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 you they let you something now. Now you be the thing why it's back for the house. Where I come, carry the fire now. As we and I make you carry the baby where you burn the fire now. No way to carry the baby. Eh? The baby already eh? born finish here. Eh? No hand, no leg. Now you be the thing why happen for you here eh? now. Today like this now. 
no way to go now. Make government come here for us, you know. So people now where they like this now. Almost, almost at 29 rooms. Now you there for year now. Okay, okay. You see, I'm now you just there for year now. Everybody here, no problem. Not where I see they see me like this now. When I stand like this now. Now the clothes when I take go clock, when I take go work now. No hair, no hair. So we do that. That's what this clothes are wearing. That's what this clothes are wearing. That's me. My business money, one twenty way born. My my carpet, my clothes, my everything. Some people get there when they come from home. All the proper they don't finish. Don't finish, oh. So make up for your hair was there. Not the same. Not the same. Not the same. so my colleagues people without not wasting much of your time and the other one that i want to bring for you is um and <laughs> governor of Anabra State, Shah Soludo, <laughs> do you know that finally he picked some persons that they are the members of his committee that they are going to join him uh, to fight or to talk, uh, to negotiate with some of the IPOB members about this it at home, how they can bring peace. Uh, in attendance is uh, Bianca Ojuku and uh, Charlie Boy and so many others. There are 15 of them that he is now setting up committee. <laughs> so it's of it should have known that these people there is something that they need. I remember Soludo when doing his manifesto. Some things that he said, but now he's trying to change everything. I don't really understand if he's changing them or he's trying to make this happen or he's just over stressing himself because the way it looks like right now i can say that uh, soludo is just giving himself unnecessary stress honestly speaking because i know that he's trying to work he's trying to work he's trying to put this in order but at the same time not to think that he's stressing himself or it's just for him to just get his phone get some people make a good idea or a good resolution out of what he's trying to say but you see every day still remain the same thing the more he, he keep on saying it the more the thing is so annoying to some persons the most so people were ang the most so people are angry so my own point is just that why did he not just calm himself and just allow some some people that is reach out to some people and see how this thing will be solved amicably you cannot say that you don't know why the people they are agitated they've told you man's not the canon is in is in dss custody and they want him out and again they said they are fighting for their freedom so there are some things that you are going to do to talk with these people to make sure it is right rather every time the thing is so difficult and everything is so, just so annoying to some people why some persons you are trying your best to work with them yes like the dos so they are trying to work with the dos and um simon Epa is not getting it funny that is just the basic truth that is just the bone of contention that is what is right happening right now uh if you look at the ipop structure you see that for some time now they have relaxed like i think that maybe it's because of mass now they can be in detention or being in other custody but <laughs> if you see the other way around then if you see simon ekba the fire is still very burning you know that one he don't want to hear go come. All what he know is he's telling them they should release Mazna now they can. He don't want to know anything. He don't want to hear anything. So these are not two different people. In case you don't understand the story, don't understand what is going on. Now these are two different people. DOS make peace with Soludo right now because Soludo make it understand. He make it open. is everywhere that the IPOP leadership said they are not the one in support of um sit at home and they they are they agree to work with him 
Yes, and they are going to work together. But he still make another video. This is not said. Uh, they said they said so. Don't come for me. So Ludo make another video and said Simon Ekpa, the Finland base. Yes, so say is the one that is in charge of this at home. Is the one that is doing all this katakata. Is the one that is making uh, sister Tom not to have head. And you know when you give birth to two children, when they are twins, there's one one will be hot, one will be cold. <laughs> DOS is cold. Why Simon Ekpa is the fire for fire? So Simon Ekpa don't want to hear anything. The dragon, he don't want to hear anything. What he want to hear, the language he said he, he understand is free Mazina the canon. That that is the message that he know, and that is what he want to hear right now. So <laughs> where the problem is, I've told you, Simon Ekpa said he's not going to agree to anything unless Mazi now the canoe is at <laughs> please drop your opinion in the comment section so my realistic people i just want to leave you so that you just take a glance or you just take a wash or you just listen to simon ekpa and i will be right back so instead of him to be attacking me because last time you see him attacking me he of you to be attacking me you know he wants me to be like him or to do like him he wants Mazina the canon to do like him he wants every other behalf france to do like him no because what it means is that he is eating blood money the people that died under his watch can never forgive him so the best thing he would do to those people is to make sure that he secretly let us even say secretly if that is going to expose him to danger Secretly support agitation. Let me show you how it was written for Mazin and Dikan. Of course, we are don't know what it means. Most of us do not understand what it means to be a Biafran. Listen. I have not seen anything yet. I was kidnapped. I was beaten. I was spat at. My clothes were ripped from my body. Women urinated and poured it on me. But it was written. Because of Biafra. So that they may humiliate me to such a point that I will not talk about Biafra anymore. They videoed me. My sub has a video of me where they were beating me, dragging me on the floor, tearing my clothes because I spoke the truth. You see? That did not stop me from talking about Biafra. You see? It did not stop me from taking radio Biafra to a new group. You see? It did not So, my colonialistic people, hey, 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 the last one here is on no government. They just designed the entrance of a, uh, and they call the, the entrance of Olu Osu, that is in Imo State. They just designed it with Nigeria, uh, Biafra color. <laughs> in fact, I don't really know how they do it. I don't really know if it's in the, if it's midnight because the thing will take a lot of time. So I don't really know how they do it, but I just want to leave the little clip for you. Watch it, and I'll be right back. Hello, why? Don't make the change you go. Lady, I know. I swear to you, I'm not the headquarter of the Afra. Hello, why? So my colleagues, people that bring us to the end of this update, do where to like this video, share and subscribe if you haven't. Subscription is free, please smash on that subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, from here, I said bye.